is 519 and we're learning more about the history and people of the towns of Calpens as we continue our zip trip this morning. Let's get back with Malachi Rogers. Who you got today? <laughs> Well, uh, Sabila, I have Allie Miles with me, spokesperson for District 3. And, and Allie, you guys have had a rocking and rolling year. A lot going on this year. You're wrapping up. Kind of give me an idea of what the year was like this year. Absolutely. So we had such an exciting year. We had Cliffdale opening. The girls just won the softball championship. It's been so busy. Incredible graduation. We were so glad. Midway through, COVID just seemed to sort of disappear. Fantastic. Back to a normal year, having those fun events, having a lot of excitement around here. And, and again, you talk about Cliffdale. Tell me a little bit about the idea behind that development of that school, because that was a big deal for a lot of folks. Huge deal. We had a referendum. It allowed us to not only update all of our elementary schools, our high school, but it allowed us to build a wing onto Cliffdale Elementary, transitioning it into Cliffdale Middle. Wow. And so we consolidated uh, Cowpens and Packlet those middle schools brought them all together and it's just really exciting it allowed us to have some open programs more classes we've got robotics and wow. stemology it's so <laughs> cool it's so much fun to go over there and see what these kids are doing yeah and, and it's absolutely amazing we always talk about these smaller towns or these uh, smaller schools with a lot of opportunities for kids tell me a little bit about and just briefly uh, about the uh, Daniel Morgan Technology Center how, how important is that for the district so that's allowing our students to also learn about those trades that are available so they're starting to learn about cosmetology, mechatronics, culinary school. Like if you have a passion and you want to take it, we will get you there. I mean, you can build on cars, you can do everything over there. And that's starting at a younger age. So there's these opportunities for kids to get high school credit in middle school. They've got college credit in high school. It's, it's just a growing field in education to get these kids ready for life as soon as they graduate. That's amazing. So we're going to talk a little bit later with Allie about maybe some of your graduates, where they're going or what their plans yeah, are and what's going on in the district. So we have a lot more going on. Of course, we're talking schools in District 3, schools here in the Cowpens area, and we'll have much more of that coming up in just a few minutes.